There's been some really interesting stuff that Sam Altman did say at his recent interview a few days ago with Bloomberg. And I must confess, this really cleared the air on some of the many concerns and unclarified issues that people have had about AI, especially the GPT program. Unlike many other big tech companies in this race, OpenAI has been doing a great job keeping up appearances to help people understand and integrate better with these novel situations that are closing in on us really fast. It's really, really commendable, and we're hoping to see more transparent moves from other companies like Google. And back to the interview, the discussion here revolved around so many things ranging from risks, regulation, perception, and a whole bunch of other things as it relates to AI. And what I'll be doing in this video is breaking these things down so that we can get some really important things that will help us adapt to this inevitable future we're racing towards. Overall, Sam Altman did seem a bit overwhelmed by the way people have received these advancements and the huge expectations side by side to that, as he did see in his time moving around. And to be honest, people are really looking out to see the impacts this will have, which I have no doubt is definitely going to be great. And we did get some pretty good insight into what OpenAI might be working on now as it concerns the available language models. And though this might not be totally new, when asked about a change he desired to see in AI, Sam Altman insinuated that we'll be seeing AI being more tailored to a personal level with users. And I would assume that that will largely include making these LLMs available in various languages and creating more open source models for innovators to work with. Talking about open source models, Meta has been doing a really great job with this, with models like Dino V2, and Microsoft seems to be really following suit with their recent announcement of Orca. These moves are really important if we'll be seeing great advancements as expected in AI, giving room for new players to enter using the available resources from these big firms. And we do have previous videos on these two open source models I mentioned, and I'll leave the link in the description. One of the most trending things at this moment as it concerns AI is the topic of safety. And we've not seen so much response on this from companies or even governments. But OpenAI has been really on the topic for a while, such that some even perceive it as a way they want to strangle others and stay on top. And Sam Altman did give a response to that, and I'll address that later in this video. Sam Altman was asked why he wouldn't stop if he believes we are at so much risk of danger from these systems. And there was this reference to this paper, which Sam Altman did co-sign, warning that AI poses existential risks. And this paper was nothing really elaborate, as it was just a paper made of a few words that says, Mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. I mean, if this was the case, I guess the only reasonable option here is to stop the whole process altogether. But Sam Altman says that they're trying to keep their eyes more on the positives that AI will bring, such as quality education, better health services, and a general boost to scientific progress. And there's been no doubt that AI has really helped us do some impressive stuff. In this previous video, we talked about this pharmaceutical company that was able to generate 40,000 new lethal substances within six hours, just by tweaking an AI that was previously dedicated to researching helpful medications. Aside from the fact that this was a demonstration of what bad actors could do with the technology, which is really, really scary, imagine the help that this technology will render in delivering quick cures to situations like the COVID incident. And Sam Altman did agree that controlling what bad actors will be able to do with this technology will have to be something we figure out together. Now back to what OpenAI actually has in mind for the regulations they've been pushing for. We've seen several instances of Sam Altman speaking for that regulation. Aside from the publication I just read to you in this video, we also saw this video of Sam Altman addressing Congress on these risks and calling for them to put these firms going beyond a certain limit in check. And you will still find this in some videos we had made in the past. But when we take a look at this publication speaking about how the European Union is moving to place some ground rules on the operation of what they described as high-risk AI, and the reaction that we see from Altman in the publication seems to go against what he's been pushing for. This section in the publication reads, Sam Altman, the CEO of ChatGPT maker OpenAI, met several European leaders in May to discuss the potential impact of AI on society. He said he had no plans to pull ChatGPT out of Europe, despite saying proposed EU rules to govern AI could backfire. 
One might wonder what has changed, which led many to believe that they were proposing these regulations to slow down other companies while lobbying for their own interests in secret. However, Altman did really clear the air on this in this interview with Bloomberg. As of now, the details of this proposed regulation by the European Union aren't clear yet, but this article says right here, the European Union has taken the first steps towards regulating artificial intelligence with its parliament backing a ban on the technology for biometric surveillance, emotion recognition, and predictive policing. Placing a ban here means a total halt to development in certain areas. And this can really be counterproductive. According to Altman, he really agrees with the regulation of the big firms who might be likely shooting above certain limits. And he proposes that the government places some kind of certification requirement on this. Take a listen to this section of the interview so that you can get a clear picture. What do you think about the certification system of AI models that the Biden administration has I think there's some version of that that's really good. Um, I think that people training models that are way above any, any model scale that we have today, but, but above some certain capability threshold, I think you should need to like go through a certification process for that. I think there should be external audits and safety tests. We do this for like lots of other industries where we care about safety. According to him, hefty regulations are likely to stop the growth of startups, which will really be detrimental to the overall growth in technology, and that's not something we want in our hands. So basically, Sam Altman is advocating that the small startups be left alone, and the activities of the big players be checked to an extent, but not totally. And still on concerns about security, in a previous video, we did mention the role that Elon had played in the development of OpenAI. In fact, he was among the founding team of the company in 2015 with about a $50 million investment in the company. OpenAI was originally a company dedicated to AI safety with Sam Altman and Elon Musk as the initial board members. Things took quite a different turn in 2018 when Elon left the company, just a year before the company became a cap profit company. According to Elon in this interview, the company was meant to be a non-profit entity. And ever since, Elon has been very much concerned about OpenAI being profit-oriented and even their partnership with Microsoft. Elon in this interview is so positive that the relationship with Microsoft will likely backfire on OpenAI and goes against the whole idea that OpenAI was supposed to be built on in the first place. As it seems, Microsoft does have some great control in the partnership. However, Sam Altman addressed these concerns and stated that OpenAI is quite capable in terms of finance, but Microsoft help keeps the data center running on the operation. And I think that's basically the point Elon was trying to make, at this point where he highlights the dangers of being in league with Microsoft. Whatever the case, I think Sam Altman sounds pretty confident about the relationship and what it will bring, and we hope that it's a positive one. And it's quite interesting that Altman still maintains no equity in the company. And one of the impacts of AI that people seem to have highlighted for long now is the displacement of human labor. But if you listen to this part, Altman has an opinion on this. But if this is like, you know, if we figure out some sort of new structure where open AI is like governed by humanity, and that can happen in many ways, including like the alignment data set we pick rather than us picking it, we find a way to like get it from humanity as a whole. Um, that could mean like actual board control. There's many ways that could be implemented and we're talking to a lot of people about what that could look like. But if we don't do that, I don't, I don't think like just trust us is good enough. And you will agree with me that he's not at all wrong in taking this position. Think about the Industrial Revolution in the 1700s and 1800s and what it might have felt like for those that depended on the various manual labor jobs for survival. It's likely that the new technology will let us see new ways we can make ourselves useful. We're definitely far from reaching the edge of technology and it's both scary and interesting to see where this will lead us. And there's definitely no doubt this will be one hell of an adjustment. From the interview with Elon we just saw, he's most worried about certain individuals wielding enormous power and control, and this is really dangerous, especially when their eyes are basically on the profit alone without due consideration to safety. Sam Altman does take a similar lane on this issue and proposes a more democratic leadership for the major players in this race. According to him, even OpenAI shouldn't be trusted unless they make the moves to make sure we have a more transparent deal on the matter. And speaking on transparency, I think Google really needs to work more on this aspect, considering that they wield a very enormous power when it comes to these things. What are your thoughts on this discussion, and do you really believe OpenAI will remain open in future advancements?